So, you want to go to the ball, but you lost your glass slipper. Well, looks like you had to bust out the Chuck Taylors. Hey guys, welcome back to Spy Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at how to make everything in your scene pixelated. How to pixel out your entire scene. And I've seen a lot of people do this, like maybe low poly style, this PS1 graphic style. And this is the easiest and most simple way to do this. Um, and it's uh, super fun because it's really flexible as well. So we have this scene here with uh, with Suzanne. If I, if I was to render it, it would look completely normal just like this, as you can see. But with a couple of things, we can fix this up. So let's go ahead and go over to the compositing section up, in the, up at the top of our workspace here. And instantly you can see this is what we're, what we're dealing with once we have everything rendered. And it's literally just these three nodes right here. So the super cool thing is, let's go ahead and zoom up. Let's go ahead and zoom. Let's go ahead and zoom in. There we go. You can see we have all these individual pixels. Now, if we go ahead and hit Shift A and we search for a scale node, obviously we have this bad boy right here. And initially, it just looked like, oh, that's not what we want. Initially, everything just like this, of course. Now we have this scale node, and if we pop it right here, boom, um, instantly it doesn't do anything at all. GG's, everything's broken and nothing's working. Anyway, we can go ahead and fix this by changing the interpolation mode from bilinear to nearest, and then going ahead and put the, putting this X uh, and Y value down to 0.1 on both of these. There you go. Um, now it made it super small so we, and we can't see anything so we need to actually scale it back up so we can actually see what's going on but um so we can go ahead and do that by grabbing another scale uh value another scale node hitting shift d and duplicating that over here boom and putting that right there now i just got super small but we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and fix that by adding this value up here which is just gonna be literally 10 so it's gonna put that on 10 on both of these and scale it up by 10 uh, by 10 which is just you know this just multiplying this up so it's bigger again um but it's not pixelated it, it looks normal still the reason for this is because we need to pixelate node so let's go ahead and hit shift a and we'll search for a pixelate node and pop that bad boy right there and instantly you can see we have that nice beautiful pixel art style now we can go ahead and just turn this up or down depending on what you want now of course one is going to be normal you probably don't want to it looks kind of messy so just leave it on one now you could put this on um by linear uh you can do something like this if you want it to be a little bit more blurry you could leave just this one on on nearest and have this one on by linear so it has a little bit more of an anti-aliasing effect if you notice if i zoom in here you can see we have some 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 anti-aliasing, which is like this smoother pixels. If I leave this first one on, 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 on bilinear instead of nearest, you can see it gets rid of those once I do that, which just makes it super sharp, but you could leave that on if you like that. And I actually do like the way that looks, so I will leave that on, actually. I'll just leave this one on nearest right here. Um, and that's uh, that's literally it. That's all you have to do to make some, some very cool PS1 style uh, pixelated pixel art, uh, you know, stuff in blender and it's super easy you can do this with any scene with any resolution any scene anything in your scene even animations of course because this is a compositor just make sure you have the composite node hooked up so there you go that is how you do that in blender ladies and gentlemen i hope you learned something new today hope you had a good time hope your day or night no matter where you are in the world right now is fantastic i'll see you guys in the next tutorial but until then bye bye